Yeah, room's kind of a mess, I know, but fuck it. Um, today's video, I wanted to show you on the computer, but you know, perhaps being a bitch and not recording for Windows 10. I think it's for Windows 8 and 10, I'm not sure. It, it was working on Windows 7 till I upgraded, and it's just perhaps just stopped working. But today's tutorial, what I want to show you guys um, is this tutorial how to use the console manager. Um, I don't know if you can see it good. I don't think you can see it good, but um, it's called CC API as a console manager. Um, it shows you, um, it lets you, you know, you can. Oh my god. I mean, you can use it and, you know, insert your console ID or your. PlayStation ID, meaning if you are banned, you can use it and you know get unbanned um, ID codes and get unbanned. As you can see, that's the my Elgato with the connected to the PS3. All right, hold on. Yeah, I don't know if that's a bad angle, but you can view the. Yeah, I think that's a bad angle. But um, what I want to show you guys, every time I'm recording a video, but yeah, every um, honest, I only show you the angle of the PS3 on the Elgato screen, and like what will come up. So, for instance, here is the console manager, and um, the. This, this one right here that I'm clicking at, this one right here, the top one, that is where you put in your console ID to get unbanned. But you have to get up, but you have to get, um, you have to, it's, I think it's 30, it's, I think it's a 13, 13 character length number that will be inserted. And inserting it random won't work. I try to, I try it a lot of times. There, there are people out there that sell the private keys. Um, I only, I only tried out one store, and that is, um, from Indiana Mods. They sell them for, like, I think it was 25 bucks at the time. I haven't bought it for a long, I haven't bought it for a long while because I just recently got blocked. For like five months now. Well, I wasn't blocked for five months, I just recently got blocked. Um, bam, whatever. So, yeah, I'm right here, you type in a number. Or one the given um, you know console ID and you know set hold on give me a second As I said, it's supposed to be 13. Oh, my bad, 32. And there we go. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm, I'm going to do it again, and you'll see it on the bottom left of the PS, of the TV screen or the computer screen. Whatever you guys are doing it with, you'll see all. See, console ID is now changed to um, 30, thirty-two zeros, and that's not that's not a legit code itself. But I'm just showing an example. And the PS and hold on, the PS ID itself. Don't mess with that unless you know. Unless Sony, like, instead of banning your account, which you normally do, they'll ban the, they'll ban the whole console itself. So you'd have to change um, the console ID. But uh, Sony really does that since it's a PS3. Um, Sony really does that because normally I got this is like my second time banned now. So what I do is just you know buy a new um, console ID and just change it. And just make a new account, cause you know the other account is banned, so you just make a new account. 
and do your and make your modding precautions much safer. If you're gonna if you're gonna play like homebrews, make sure that your internet is disconnected or you are offline or if you're gonna be modding mod uh, if you're gonna be modding or hacking, do it safely. And there are precautions out there. Um, I might be making one also. You know, when I unban this and yeah, when I unban it, I'll make the precaution video. Watch take precaution off and everything. So yeah. And that's a, and that's just one way how to use it. Use the console manager. You can also check it, you know the details off the console off, you know your console. See that's my firmware right there. 455. But I'm spoofed on um, I think it's 480 or 475. I'm not, I'm not I didn't I'm not sure. My console type is um CEX. Um I might do um when I learn to um do the conversion to DEX, I might do a video on that. But for now, yeah. It it even gives you the temperature and everything. Or if you want to you know console shutdown to shut down the console through the computer. And right there, you know, you can mess with the console a little bit. If you want to keep it blinking, keep the green light blinking or whatever. And you have this um, v VSH not notify. Nah. VSH notify. You can, you know, mess around with it. Alright, let me show it. Um, Alright, you know. Alright. I don't know if you can see what I typed on it, but I typed on it stop hacking. And go back to the screen. And if you look what's the camera. If you look at it if you look at the PS3, it'll come up at the top saying stop hacking. Let me zoom in some more. Just to you know, clarify it or justify it. <laughs> so I mean console the console manager is, is very easy to use you know you can just mess around with the PS3 it won't break it or anything unless you know you mess with um, the memory settings which you shouldn't you know just don't mess with that because if you don't know what you what you what you're doing you will mess up the whole um, system I'm not sure if you're gonna get bricked but you can't mess up the whole system from booting and everything. I mean, it will still boot, but you get, everything will get fucked up. But yeah, that's the quick video of today for the tutorial. If you like the video, share it, tell your friends, tell your friends to subscribe to the Gaming Noob, like the video and everything, and I'm out.